Hi and welcome, Kat from Sacred Soul Rising. So I want to talk about what activates Divine Feminine, what activates Divine Masculine and how to move through this journey so you start to shift on the journey. The voice and the vibration of the voice is an activation. The eyes are also an activation. The eyes are the windows to our souls and when Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine first encounter, the activation of the eyes starts off the soul recognition. So does the voice vibration too. So the vibration of the voice holds a certain vibration. And when you are initially in that bubble of phase, that energy is building. Twins in that initial bubble love phase will feel so deeply connected. They're, they will be dancing in that soul vibration. It is only when the energy builds to a certain point and divine masculine then gets activated and starts to run and divine feminine gets activated and starts to chase, does the journey change. The thing is, on this journey, it is up to divine feminine to neutralize the frequency. Only when divine feminine neutralizes the frequency that she's pushing or she, he, remember on this journey, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how you identify in the physical form. Divine feminine is always the chasing energy, is always the push energy. You are divine feminine if you are trying to figure out this journey. If your mind is going 100 miles an hour and you're spending all your hours trying to figure out the journey, I'll let you into a little secret, divine feminine. The journey will not change while you are spending hours and hours and hours trying to figure out the twin flame journey. That is looping energy. That is chasing energy. The only way the journey changes is when you learn to neutralize. Most people will find me early on in the journey and often will say to me, I was not ready to hear what you had to say. It was only when I had exhausted every single option that I realized you were the only one that was speaking the truth. The reason why is that this journey, Divine Feminine, is a soul's journey. This is an awakening journey. You are awakening on your spiritual journey. You are now starting to walk the path of enlightenment. You are activated with that Kundalini. Kundalini is your life force energy gifted to you at birth. Those spinning vortexes are your life force energy. Somebody wrote recently, Kat, I'm, I, I wish you wouldn't talk in, um, in, in Indian terminology. Life force energy is not Indian terminology. It is your life force energy. Whether you want to associate it with whatever name, it is still life force energy. Your chakra system, your base and root chakra is your safety and your security. Your sacral chakra is where you rebirth yourself. It is where you create your life. You see, a lot of the time, divine feminine is in that victim frequency, believing that life is happening to them instead of realizing that they've been activated on this journey in order to create, to create the life that they have beyond dreamt. You are here to self-master. The solar plexus is all about the should have, could have, would have, and about you learning how to self-master your emotions. And we know on this journey, those emotions are flying off into crazy energy. We know in Dark Night of the Soul, you are spinning out. You feel like your whole world is falling apart and you're so confused thinking this. Most people will come and work with me and especially work with me privately and go, Kat, you do not understand. This is not what I do. Kat, you do not understand. I have, you know, I'm director of a blue chip company. 
uh, or I'm a surgeon or I'm a judge or, you know, I'm a mother, whatever. And they will say to me, Kat, this is not how I act. I have never acted like this in my life, but I cannot control my emotions right now. The reason why are those core wounds are activated. A spiritual awakening activates your core wounds. So abandonment, betrayal, fear, lack, the need for validation will all rise within you. They're there to heal. And it is only when you come from an observing energy and see it as a place of growth, of a place of healing, that you will start to shift through that. My work is to give you the tools so you can shift through it. Once your life force energy hits that heart chakra, and we know on this journey, you have a massive heart chakra activation. And you initially believe all that love that you are feeling and that is flowing out of you in ways that you never dreamt you could love somebody. You believe it's all for divine masculine. But that love divine feminine is for you. Your divine masculine is only mirroring back to you where you need to find more love, where you need to connect in with that playful inner child. And at this point, <laughs> most divine feminines go, no, no, no. I just love that. Forget all this hard work, Kat. I just want to know how to bring union. But while ever you are asking those questions, you have attachment. And if you listen to most people that talk about the journey, most coaches that really truly talk about this journey, they will say that you have to surrender. A spiritual awakening, that is one of the key things to surrender, surrender over to divine. You see, attachment only leads to pain. Attachment is about really releasing, letting go of knowing that everything that is meant for you will always, always find you. And this journey is like the bee and the flower. The flower blossoms and the bee comes. Divine feminine, you surrender. You come into your divine power and your light and divine masculine will return. But only when you are fully surrendered over. And that is the paradox. Most points then divine feminine will go, but I'm so busy working and shining my light and making a difference in the world that whether divine masculine comes and goes is irrelevant. But early on, early on, you will not be in that mindset. This journey is about the life force in the throat chakra. What is the throat chakra? It's about speaking your truth. It's about sharing your light out. It's about trusting that third eye, knowing that your inner compass is always guiding you on this journey. And if you are there looking for a quick flick fix, if you are searching out tarot readings, if you are trying to figure it out by horoscopes. I read something the other day where somebody was saying, you know, when the sun rises at a certain point in your star sign and the moon does, then it means you're twin flames. This, I'm sorry, is not true twin flames. This is just another attachment. True, true twin flames, it is a soul's journey. And divine feminine it is about you reclaiming your light. It is about you reclaiming your power. It is about you surrendering over, getting out of all that toxic energy of trying to figure out this journey. And once that connection comes in to the crown chakra, then that is when you are in and have shifted into that higher state of consciousness, where you are witnessing consciousness itself, where you realize that you are not really the physical form. You are soul and you have always been soul. And where you and your divine masculine connect is at a soul level. And so when 
divine feminine fully shifts into soul, it allows divine masculine to feel the energy air rate, to fully come in to their sovereign frequency. And that is when union can take place. While ever you are chasing, while ever you are searching the internet, trying to figure out the journey, you are only in push energy. You are only in the toxic energy of this journey. This journey, Divine Feminine, is about you, always you reclaiming your power, always you aligning with soul. And when you align with soul, it allows Divine Masculine to also shift into soul frequency. If you need more help and support on this journey, whether it be detoxing, whether it be understanding the full A to Z of the journey, whether you are starting to attract divine masculine in and you want to real you really want to start to be able to balance them back in because you've done all that crazy separation in and out and you now realize the truth of the journey that the journey is about balance is about you holding your own frequency. If you need more help and support, my website is there. It is full of everything that you need in order to reclaim your power, and reclaim your light, divine feminine, and shift into that frequency of union. I send you much love, many blessings.